Hey guys, what is going on? My name is, of course, Wisp, and today I'm going to be showing you my Sony Vegas Pro 15 render settings. Now, I'm going to give you a brief explanation of how I get them and how it works, just so that you guys have a little bit of understanding behind it. But basically, you need Sony Vegas Pro 15. The reason that mine works so well is because I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so I will explain that to you guys now. First thing you're going to want to do when you've opened up Vegas is just drag in your clip. But the other thing is you're going to want to record in 120 FPS, which you can see here. You can also see that by pressing the settings icon here and the project properties. Now this is literally what I use, 1920 by 1080 and frame rate 120. All of these are all exactly what it is when you just start and I normally click this and click apply. So it's best Gaussian, none, smart resample and click apply. I've never changed any of that and I've never listened to anyone that's told me to change it just because the quality I get I really like so I just haven't felt the need to change it. So once you've got that you can just select a part of your clip that you want to you know render so I'll do that I'll just select this part here let's say then what you're going to want to do is click file render as okay now once you're in render as this is what it will look like you're going to want to scroll down to windows media video v11 and in here I've got all my friends render settings I used to use asus pads that was all I ever used but then my friend Gavin gave me some better render settings and what you're going to want to do is just click customize template and this will open so then I just completely ignore everything in the audio section I just leave it as it is I'm happy with my mic quality so I don't change anything just go over to video and this is where things get a bit more complicated so what you're going to want to do is click custom in this part here the image size and normally I put this to 1920 by 1080 but I also know that a lot of you want my 1440p renders which look like this 2560 by 1440 and the frame rate 60 fps 5 and 4 override default compression buffer and video smoothness is zero. So that bit's a bit less important if you just want 1920 by 1080 you just stick that in there or whatever resolution you want you put it in there you can also do 1280 by 720 if that's what you want but I don't like that. This is the main part is the bitrate. Now I set mine to 30 because any more than that and it just takes forever to upload but if you guys have better internet I'd suggest putting this on 60 because that's what Stimpy uses and he's obviously got amazing renders but I'm gonna leave it at 30. Now you just want to head over to project and just where it says video rendering quality just stick it on best that is literally it that is all my render settings something i do want to explain quickly is how i get the motion blur because i know a lot of you ask it's not in game if you watch my uh clip here uh, there is no motion blur on my clip well, it's a bit laggy but there's no motion blur this is completely like normal there's nothing about this that's motion blur this is just me fighting someone so the reason i have motion blur is because i record at 120 fps and when you look in the settings here, you just have to make sure that the resample mode here at the bottom is set to smart resample. If you have anything lower than Sony Vegas Pro 14, this won't be here. And you have to do this. You have to right click it, click properties and select smart resample. But with mine, what I do is I just open the project settings and set all of it to smart resample. So that way it basically doesn't compress your frames and put them down to 60 and leave it like this because you don't want that. You want the motion blur, which you can't see in the preview, but it's there once you render. So once you've done that, you just have got to wait for it to render. Sadly, it does take quite a while, but the better your computer, the faster it will render. So I hope this has helped you guys. And if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll see you guys later. Peace.